Hello everyone, my name is Titria. I am one of the author of the Intergenerational Justice for the Earth Sustainability, one of the Arrow for Change articles. So um, I work this with my colleague, we, Mimi Zino. Um, so basically, I'm going to highlight some of the um, important points that I wrote with my colleague in, the, in this article. So in this article, we divided into three sections. First one to define um, where are we now. So the climate change um, has become a progressive threat to the earth since the industrial revolution as it burns fossil fuels and release more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. And of course, this increased the number of the greenhouse gases compared to pre-industrial revolutions. And of course, in this situation, uh, human activity has warmed the world by around one, uh, one I'm sorry, by around 0 0.87 degrees Celsius uh, compared to the pre-industrial level. And we have threshold number is 1.5 degrees Celsius. We'll, where if we um, keep the current situation um, going, so we will be ex um, exceeding or um, reaching the 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2040, or without um, immediate and large scale reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, they're limiting the number to the 1.5 degrees Celsius or even two degrees Celsius will be yeah, we can call it impossible. So in the sec second section, um, talking about what if we are too late. So of course, um, in this section, we, are, we want to emphasize how if the situation is already, already too late for um, to go back to, no, um, to go back to um, back point, but instead of um, go back to a point where we can solve everything, but we are stepping on, on the no turn back point that will be the threat. And of course, the future generation will experience the worst case of the climate scenario because of course, they will continue in the life. And of course, as the future generations, um, all of the burden will be keep adding more and this will be impacting their future life. And yeah, these undesirable climate conditions will also result in depletion of natural resources. And um, of course, not only depletion on the natural resources, but also um, will have a significant societal impact, such as like uh, population migration and economic dislocation, and which will costly uh, for future generations. And at national level, and this will be like more natural disaster related to climate change will be happened. And this will be enforcing the future generations to abandon their home or properties. And then, yeah, clean up polluted areas, even though we are doing it right now, and even relocate to urban areas. And then the last section is about um, youth voices as future generation voices. We want to emphasize how um, the youth voices uh, is important here to be involved in any process of um, climate policies or even in the grassroots communities because youth made up for almost um, one third of the global population. So it's a big number. And especially in the developing countries where the large youth population will be bear the most impact of the climate change. And as the current conditions are intensifying over time, of course, like I mentioned before, the child and youth, they will have the possibility to face the worst of the effect of the climate change in the future. And of course, um, with that situation, we are facing by two options now, prepare them to adapt and mitigate or prevent them uh, the disaster to happen. And yeah, of course, both of the option will be work, um, but the second one, should be more favorable because we know that it's our responsibility to, um, to take care of the environment and to prevent it will become worse. And of course, including youth in all process will be important. And we don't need a tokenistic involvement, but we need a meaningful youth engagement. So as youth are part of the future generations where they are taking responsibility in continuing their future 
climate restoration effort, they should be, be heard, involved in the decision making and processes, and also be empowered in any form of support. So that's all um, about the content of the intergenerational justice for the earth sustainability. Thank you so much.